black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Yo, did shit just get so real, like way too real? I don't know if you're believing what you're seeing in front of your eyes, because I'm barely believing it as well. This thing is, I think, like two footballs. It's like my head times two or three. This thing is hefty, big weight. <clears throat> Subway ain't got shit on me, Firehouse ain't got shit on me. That, my friends, is a sub. I got a bag of OG chips here. The uh, shitty no-name brand. I even brought the jar of mayo. Even though I put excess on, I may require it later on in this video because I'm a saucy guy. So as you can see, we're working with a monster here. I'm gonna have to cut it in half just to even try. The moment of reveal. That's dope. Put a couple chips down. Ooh Thought back to my Philly cheesesteak video and that was like on a, another level of sandwich making. And I thought, is there a way I can top that? I think that just happened let's get into it it's going to take me so long to make a dent in this thing So good. Everything was in that bite. Lettuce, tomato, mayo, bacon, chicken. It's a perfect balance of flavors. I know you guys saw that mayo technique. I feel like maybe some of you were confused by it. And I just actually want to clarify exactly what that move was all about after I stopped shoving these in my face. On a sandwich of this scale, and of this nature, if you're putting the sauce on the bread, by the time you're done building it, the bread is gonna rob you of all that moisture, of all that good, fatty, mayo -y goodness. So to put it in the center, it remains like plentiful. And unabsorbed. Therefore, you get these juicy mayo bites. The other thing, too, is that something very special happens. when tomato and mayo come together to do the dirty dance. And when they do that dirty dance, it's magical. Especially with a little salt on the tomato too. Something about the juices from the tomato 
and the male coming together, it like activates a flavor explosion. And that's something you're going to not want to miss. I'm experiencing pure bliss right now. And to be honest, for a no-name chip, these regulars are as good, if not better than Lay's. And Lay's regular is my favorite chip. In terms of regular chips. But Lay's also has a very like the best thin crispy crunch in my opinion. We got a dripper. It's dripping. Good thing it's laundry day and I have nothing to do tonight. My whole plan this evening is to wash everything, relax. I call it a regroup day. You guys ever have those? Tonight is a Monday. I feel like Monday is a great day to regroup. It's boring. Nobody cares about it. It's a good day to use to get things done that just kind of help you reset your life. My favorite thing to do on regroup days is I get all my laundry done, get everything clean. Right now I just have my, I just threw my shoes in the washer. Get my shoes back clean, nice and fre fresh. Tidy my room, sweep, dust, just make sure everything's on point. Tidy the house, clean up the kitchen, make sure everything's nice there. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm very much like this. I'm kind of anal, in a sense. Not to, like, that super intensity, like, 
I can let my shit kind of get a little bit out of order and stuff from time to time, and it's like, whatever. But, I like things to be, to have their place. To be not out of place, to be, I like, I'm very minimalist. I can't, I don't like a mess, I don't like to live in a mess. It makes me feel really out of whack. And like bothered and uncomfortable, if that makes any sense. I like to know where my things are. I like to look around and see nice, clean, concise lines, no chaos, no shit cluttered everywhere. I like to know what clothes I have that I can wear, like, it's just shit like that. Like, I hate guessing about that stuff day to day, I guess. Speaking of hating clutter, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but side tables, like, I think everybody in the house has that, like, that one table or space or whatever, the countertop that you'll, like, clean it up, and it'll be, like, very clean and perfect, and only the few things that you, like, need and want are there, and then within, like, a week's time, all of a sudden, it's just like all the shit on it. There's like business cards and receipts and a lid from a Gatorade and like a hair tie and da, 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 and, da, 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 and like all this shit. And all of a sudden, you're like, where did any of this come from? Why is it here? Why is this clutter now here in my life? I know you guys are going to call me weak, but I legit can't finish half of this whole sandwich. I'm already so full. And I haven't eaten anything today. I didn't even nibble while cooking. That's how big this thing is, dude. Like, realistically, look at this. I think this one sandwich is at least, this one half of the sandwich is equivalent to a 12-inch sub from Subway. Like, for sure. If you cut that down in half, that would definitely be like a 12-inch. The only problem is, what do I do with this? I guess I'll just, like, wrap it up and toss it in the fridge. Snack on it later. Seems a little bit blasphemous. I feel like later it won't taste as good, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. It'll still be enjoyable. I know that in some hours I'll be starving again. After I'm done all my cleaning and chores. 
I'd maybe play a little, uh, a little PUBG. Mm-mm-mm. Got, got, got kind of ruckus here at the end. Kind of started like just not uh, easily accessible, easily handled. Kind of fell apart. Honestly, got one half of the sandwich fucking did me in. Hopefully, that one was enjoyable for you. I was a little more subdued in this. I feel like yesterday and the last few days really took me to a new level, and I just needed to kind of. My vibration needed to be right in the middle here for today. Just not too extra. Just very trying to ground myself again. Until the next one. You guys know what to do. Eat good. Live well. Stay true.